Well, hey everybody, happy holidays. Matt Klaskowski here and uh, got a quick start to finish tutorial for you. So we're gonna start and develop, do all the basic settings here, lots of local adjustments. I love local adjustments. I do them all the time on my photos. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna jump into effects, add a little bit of style and finish things off. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here's a photo I took in Arizona, uh, just outside of Phoenix. It was sunrise and uh, got some nice peaks back here with some nice foreground. So we got some work to do because, you know, I uh, I really needed to, I needed to underexpose because I, I knew the sun was coming up and I didn't want to blow out this area of the sky, which gives everything here, uh, makes everything here really dark, much more darker than than it was when I was there. But I wanted to make sure I captured all the the, the detail over here. So let's uh, let's get started here i think you know the first thing that i'll do is uh is i'll hop over maybe push the exposure a little bit but uh, i want to be careful because i don't want to make this area too bright so that's a good place to go over and then just boost your highlights so it doesn't really affect um or boost the shadows sorry so it doesn't affect the highlights too much all right maybe right about there let's see here uh, i'll do the uh, option or alt j Turn on my clipping warnings. You can see the, uh, the the sun is clipped over there. It's okay. It's white. I mean, it's it, it should be white, so I'm not really worried about that. And then I've got a couple little black specks that so just give me a good amount of contrast here. Not too much, though. All right. Uh, Option Alt J will turn that off. Let's hop down here. I think structure would be a nice uh, addition to this one because it's going to put a little bit of contrast into this area here, which I think will definitely help. I think overall I want to warm the photo, so I'm going to going to kind of cheat that over on the uh, temperature side toward the right a bit here, and then I'll just give an overall warmth to the photo. But there, there's more we can do when it comes to styling this. Um, and I think we're going to also have some fun with some local adjustments on this one as well. All right, so uh, I think that about takes care of our basic settings. If I hit the backslash key, you can actually see uh, it's a pretty big difference already. So that's before and that's after. All right, let's work on a couple other things. I think uh, I am going to boost the sky, boost the exposure a little bit more. It does start to make the sky a little bit too bright. So I think that's where we can uh, we can jump over to some local adjustments. Uh, might be a good idea before we even do that. It, uh, let's hit, hit this with some sharpening. Um, I'm thinking just screen sharpening will work just fine for this one. Uh, if I go if I go too aggressive with it, there's a lot of detail and I don't want it to look crunchy. I want it to look sharp, but I don't want it to look crunchy. So the the screen preset is honestly a a really good place. It's it's probably one of the ones I use the most here. All right, uh, and while we're at it, why not throw a vignette on top of this? The big softy is a nice one, but I don't want it quite as dark. Okay, now let's talk local adjustments. What kinds of things do I want to do here? Uh, game plan. I th I'm thinking maybe darken the sky a little bit. I'm thinking um, maybe brighten maybe brighten some of these peaks a little bit and maybe work with the light over here and kind of enhance the light a little bit. And I've got a, a little trick for that. So let's hop over to our local adjustments. And I'm going to go and pick on the... Uh, the uh, the adjustable gradient here because we want to just kind of drop that in on the sky and then I can even kind of tilt it over a little bit and then maybe bring it down and expand it out a little bit here like so just to kind of favor the darkness over here all right you can see it, it does it kind of pulls it away from this side which I'm good with I just want it this got this got a little bit too bright which is why I want to work on that all right, uh, one thing I noticed is the sky is getting a little bit muddy over here, loses some of the blue. So we've got a couple things we can do. Uh, we can go over to our temperature and we can kind of uh, move that over to the left and that'll give it a little bit more blue. And we can also boost the saturation, which I think uh, will help on this one as well. All right, let's see what we got here. Maybe a little too dark. We'll pull that back. If this starts to get too dark here because you are pulling a, a filter down over it, you can increase the shadows, all right? And because that's a little darker area, it'll it'll affect the sky a little bit, but not too much, but it'll really open that area back up uh, to where it was before we added that filter, all right? Uh, we can add another filter layer here, and maybe I'll go over into the uh, into the brush, and I'll probably go into the uh, lighten mode. Um, make sure you got a large feathered brush for this and probably down, uh, knock that opacity down here. I wanna kind of build it up, but I'd probably try to brighten this a little bit here. 
Um, it's also probably a really good chance to use the perfect brush option, um, which will help kind of you know, reel the uh, reel, reel the 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 brushing that I do here. I can kind of keep it out of the sky, so I can just paint along here. And that'll help me keep it out of the sky. Usually once I've gone along the edge, all right, and I've kind of outlined what I have, uh, what I'll do a lot of times is then uh, I go along there. Then I'll turn it off, all right, because it does take a little bit more processing power. Uh, it takes a little bit more of everything to do that. So we'll just go in there and, uh, and brighten some of those areas. I'm not going to try to be perfect with it. You can use the left bracket key, make your brush a little smaller, and uh, you can zoom in if you want to spend some more time with it. Uh, the other thing that we can do here is uh, if we go over into mask view, uh, we can say uh, to show the mask, and you can actually see what you've done there. So you can see if you missed uh, any little spots. Remember, we are using a 44% opacity brush, so we can build it up. All right, we can you know we can start to layer the brushing on top of each other, which will help kind of smooth it in um, a little bit there. Uh, while we're at it, since I increased that exposure, I don't know that I want to go that high with it. I might even try the shadows. Yeah a little bit, a little bit of both. I can even add some more detail to it to make that appear sharper. And then I'm going to add one more brush layer here and I'm going to click on the detail option. And then I'm just going to paint some detail, some sharpness into some of these foreground objects. I know we sharpened the photo overall, but I think I can push, I think I can push this a little bit more. And maybe experiment, you know, with the exposure on it too. I want to go, I don't want to crank it up like that, but just a little bit. And by using that feathered brush, we're kind of hiding our tracks. You know, we're not, um, you know, we're not really, uh, we're not really having to worry too much about the edges or getting any glow on here because I have a softer edge brush here and uh, I can use my left and right bracket keys maybe to, to kind of bring it out to the edges more. But again, we're using a low opacity brush, so we're building this up and it'll help, it'll help, look, it'll help take the harshness of what we're doing here uh, out of it. All right, one last thing here, and that is uh, we're really building our, our local adjustments. I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the light. I got the sun coming up over here. I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to come up to the, uh, the adjustable gradient, and instead of using the linear versions, I'm going to use the vignette version, and then I'm just going to drop it right over here. So it basically drops a circle, all right? A um, couple things that I want to do. Number one, I want it to be brighter and I want it to be warmer. So what I'm trying to do is give the effect of like some sunlight just kind of streaking through this one area here. The other thing I'm gonna do here is rotate it around. Just click on that right circle, I can rotate it around. I can click on the outside circle and I can make the feather a little bit, uh, a little bit smoother here so it doesn't look so harsh. I think overall I'll bring this in take it right over here. In fact, I might make it longer though. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. I think that will do just fine. Just experimenting with the shadows, maybe a little not too not too much warmth, but uh, a little bit uh just just some kind of like some fake sunlight if you will. And I do this a lot. I relight a lot of my photos um, where I see light, I always kind of go in and I'll tend to enhance that uh, a little bit in there. All right, so let's go back over here and take a look. I'm gonna hit the backslash key and that will show us our before. And then the backslash key again will show us our after. If you wanna finish it up, uh, we can go over here, take our retouch brush. Uh, I think there's a couple little spots in the sky that I should probably get to, uh, get to work on to remove. There's actually more than a couple, so I don't think I'm gonna go through and remove every single one here, but we'll go in and get some of the big ones. And one more down here. Um, oh, sorry, gotta get that one too. Uh, what I would say is at this point, you know, it really depends if, if the purest in you is, uh, is, is kind of making you pull back. And by the way, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go, well, I got to adjust something. This is, this is really a work in progress. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back to this, uh, my, my, uh, my adjustment layer that has that sunlight here. I'm actually going to pull it back. It, to me, as I look at it now, probably got a little bit too much. There's, there was too much of a difference between the sky and those areas, which is why I did that. But 
I think if the uh, if the purist in you says, you know, I, I want to make this look close to real, um, I think you, you're probably going to stop now. But if uh, if you want to go on and you want to style it a little bit more, uh, what you could do here is go jump into your presets. I think there's a lot of landscape presets that would look pretty cool on this one. Um, so we can click that little top icon in the uh, top right and that expands it out. It just gives us kind of a bigger view of what's going on through there. So there's definitely some presets that we could play with. Um, you know, I think anything in the sunshine and summer category would probably work pretty good. Uh, that gets a little bit too, that uh, gets a little bit too warm for me. So a lot of times while those golden glow and those golden hour ones look good, when we've already warmed the photo so much, we kind of have to stay away from something like that. But I think anything with uh, a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of glow would look nice there. And then of course, those presets come from effects. So we can jump over to effects here and you'll see all of the preset layers that it added with it. All right, and we can go over here and we can adjust those if we want. Like, I think I've sharpened the photo enough, so I might go in here, I can turn the dynamic contrast on or off. Um, I've sharpened the photo a lot. Dynamic contrast has the appearance of sharpening. So, you know, maybe I'll pull that opacity back a little bit. Rather than delete it, I'll just pull it back a little. Um, the, we already added a vignette, so you, now you're adding a vignette on top of a vignette. So I actually don't mind it too much, but I think, you know, I'll, I'll stick with the vignette that I had before, so I'll delete that. But the sun, sunshine filter's probably giving it a nice little glow. So um, again, it, it just depends. In your workflow, if you're, if you're really going to stop at, um, you know, how stylistic do you want to get? If you're really going to stop at, hey, I just want to do some of the basic settings, then you can stop and develop. But if you're going to add to the style a little bit, uh, I think your presets will definitely help out. And just don't forget that even if you apply a preset in develop, you can come over into effects and adjust those preset layers. All right, so we'll hop back over here to develop and let's hide the left-hand side panels. Let's take a look, hit the backslash key one more time. That's before and that's after. 